Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. So you can see my little deal has its first leaf on it, but underneath the deal, that is a marshmallow seed. See? Um, these are little marshmallow seeding. I underseeded my deal with marshmallow. And I told you marshmallow is a weedy plant. So you can see. And there's some bigger ones. I'm just going to take a chance now that these have their first leaf on them. And I'm going to sit this set in my um, blackberry den where the rabbit lives. Yeah, so I'm really taking a chance. And I'm going to hope that he doesn't like the taste of dill weed. That sounds really foolish. But I've got six chances, so I'm going to plant in six different places and see what happens. This is my raspberry patch. So, um, I know marshmallow has pretty deep roots and that it can take shade. Uh, dill is a very tall plant, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'm just gonna pop one of these into this zone here. This gets a lot of sun in the summertime and if the plant wants sun, it can grow to the sun, you know. I'm digging into this soil and just plopping it in there under a bed of grass green grass I'm in Southern California I can plant I don't I have to put my grass out green so as soon as I pull that grass up I just plop it in the soil and let's hope this does good I'm gonna try again over here behind this thicket of raspberries oddly enough in my area a raspberry plant is a great companion plant. Raspberries can grow well with pretty much anything because they have shallow roots. They just kind of skim along the surface. And um, these plants in my area need shade. So I'm just putting them in the soil and they'll have to figure it out. I'll kind of mulch them up. You see, I got a lot of good humusy soil there and then I'll water them in hopefully the marshmallow will grow I think marshmallow grows pretty tall so it can lean forward from the trees because this is unplanted underneath trees if it needs to and if it doesn't need to it can lean this back. is where the rabbit likes to hang out so uh, you know that it's its safety zone it's a wild rabbit it's not my pet but it loves to go and run underneath the blackberry brambles and it feels safe. So planting anything over here is kind of difficult. But I'm going to plant in the oat patch because these oats, you know, they're about to go to seed and the birds will eat them. No, I think because I, I don't want this over there. I think I'll plant it in my spinach plant because the spinach is permanent. And the rabbit has decided that it does not like spinach anymore. When I when it was a young spinach, it was like, oh yeah, spinach is so good. And now that it's old spinach, it's like, you know, I've been there, I've done that, I'm over it. So I'll plant that in that spot. And this is rocky soil. But I'll get a little of this hummus from my tree here. And maybe that'll help out a little bit so we'll see what happens so let me just water this one in there it is so you can see it I'm trying to hide it be okay if it's not discovered and until it's at least a foot tall but this soil over here is kind of dry the soil on the other side is good and wet so I'm just watering this in to hold on to it both of these will be um, thick-rooted plants, so they'll be fine. But it is a little sunny over here. Hopefully, in the 
No, it's going to stay kind of sunny here. We'll see what happens. I wanted to plant them in partial shade, but this looks a little sunny to me. And as it looks a little sunny, you guys, I'm out here in the briar patch barefoot as usual. Yeah. <laughs> Acupuncture. It's been a week and that's a good sign. There is my deal. It's alive. It's still healthy. It's not drooping. And the marshmallow seems to be healthy too. So that's great. Um, long term, the marshmallow will win. Short term, the deal's going to be the strong one to start. Marshmallow is a perennial and deal is a annual they both seem to like it in the raspberry patch i can't find any of the other bunches that i didn't plant in the raspberry patch so i have to think that the snails were eating them but um, you see those um branches full of thorns the snails figured it wasn't worth their life so i do have some deal yay team thank you jeez again i found more deal and marshmallow in the raspberry patch i put some raspberry sticks all around and therefore these seedlings seem to be okay that's good thank okay, you God. today i'm transplanting my lettuce because all the lettuce that i put in the ground got eaten so lettuce is pretty tough you know so it, I'm, it's called pricking and you just kind of gently separate it and you see that great root system on that bad boy I'm just going to shove it in here and um, they don't go into shock when they're that little they're like okay is that what we're doing I'm good I got it okay, okay. so I'm sticking my finger in here and then I got my root ball. This is two lettuces. This is my prized butterhead lettuce. Drunken woman, fizzy headed. Love this lettuce. There it is. Okay, there is a marigold that's doing good. Looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six marigolds so far. Maybe seven and I want it 20 or 30. So, oh well, it'll do. Lettuce transplants didn't go into shock. They're doing fine. Looks like one of them got eaten a little bit. You see this one, it only has one leaf left. That's a sign that the two starter leaves were eaten. So, you know, such as life. So now that my basic garden is underway, under here I have planted my asparagus and my rhubarb. On top of that I have some, some sorrel and some lettuce. Those can stay in this pot for a very, very long time so it's nothing for me to have to worry about. Well, the sorrel made it, but whatever was eating the lettuce came back ate all the lettuce so I am having to replant my lettuce not a problem because I have quite a lot of lettuce but the sorrel is now ready to plant out no signs of asparagus or rhubarb I will replant those later that's how it goes with lettuce I was trying to figure out how big my sorrel plants are going to be and the best I could understand it is they're probably gonna be about the same size as my matador spinach. Whew. Now, you see I'm having to deal with the canes here. I'm just gonna dig in here and plop that in there. The soil that I had it growing in was dry and hopefully that'll compete in this corner. I think it should do well. I think it's about the same way as a my um, perennial spinach. Okay, I think I've been pulling this out as a weed, so I'm gonna put it in this container here that I pulled all my veg out and planted. Um, call they it say this seed takes um, seven to 10 days to germinate. Things go a little bit slower in Southern California than other places, but I'm gonna keep hope alive with this because it's a little bit warmer now, maybe that'll trigger some germination and fast growth. You know, 
when this is ready, I will put it in a very, very um, shady place. So now I'm gonna put some salad burnet in here. Save a few for next year. I bought this seed last year. I'm gonna put a few of these hollyhocks. Well, it's marshmallow. Marshmallow root in here. That's more than plenty. And lastly, I'm gonna put this cleavers in there. This is a coffee substitute called bed straw too so I guess it's supposed to keep bed bugs away or maybe it's great for making bedding I don't know so I'm gonna give it a shot these seeds are tiny but these seeds actually look like weeds so I'm pretty confident that they'll grow because usually when I see seeds that look like that they all grow really easy <laughs> so now we're gonna put some dill seed in here these are my backup plants so but I need more dill so I'm gonna put them in here and they should be just fine. Yeah, gotta keep my dill plantings going once a month until they quit coming up. All right. And here's our brand new herb. This is mullein. And the seeds are so tiny in this, I don't wanna dump them, it'll be way too many seeds. See those seeds? Wheat seeds always look like that. And they always germinate really good. I'm confident that these are gonna give me more than I need, so. Just tamping it in there. It says it comes up in seven to 21 days, that this bad boy is up in two or three days. That's how we, mom is having me say the grace. So I would like to say it. Um, you guys, she, she wants me to say the grace today. So I'm, I'm going ahead, y'all. Just, just, it's in Jesus' love. In Jesus' name, I bless this food that God has prepared for us. And you make, and he's made it fruitful for the body. And everybody under the sound of my voice on this video, be blessed in Jesus' name. Be encouraged in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, let us cast out every fear, every doubt, and let us be led by God. In Jesus' name, amen. Enjoy your meal.